Hi everyone, this is Megan Ferdell from the Wisconsin Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired. And today um, I'm gonna to be talking to you about uh, making phone calls and in particular making a phone call to order a pizza or to order um, food for takeout. I think sometimes phone calls can be challenging for everyone because especially when you're having to give information on the spot and you might not be ready to give that information and you feel the pressure of someone else on the other end um, waiting to get that information from you. So I just wanted to share some tips on how you can be best prepared um, when ordering something. So uh, the first thing is you really want to have all the information. So like when you're ordering pizza or, um, or takeout, they're going to want to know your phone number. They're going to want to know your name. They're going to want to know your address. Um, and of course, then they're going to want to know your order and then any accompanying sides that might go with the order such as like pop or um, maybe like garlic bread or something like that. They're also going to want to know how you're going to pay for the item. Um, some places will allow you to pay cash upon delivery and other places um, prefer you pay over the phone with a credit or debit card. Um, so if that's the case for you, then you're going to need to know um, the number of the credit card, the expiration date, and then the three digit security code on the back. Um, it's very important that if you do not have your own um, credit or debit card that you have explicit permission to use that you need to make sure that a parent or guardian in your home um, gives you permission to use that name and number and they should probably be with you when you're sharing that information. And then finally, um, once you're done giving your order and giving all of your personal information, um, they are might ask you if you have any like special directions or instructions, like um, maybe you want them to come to the back of your house instead of the front of the house, or maybe you have a dog that barks a lot, but they're they're friendly and they just bark and you want to let them know not to be afraid. Um, just if there's any additional information you want to share, make sure that you have that ready for them. So when they come to your house, they can get quickly um, get to you and then get out. Um, and go on to their next delivery. Um, and then finally, at the end of the call, you're gonna want to note um, like the delivery time. So how long from when you hang up the phone um, to when they get to their house, to get to your house. And they usually will have um, an estimated time for you. So you wanna make sure that you note that down. And then also that um, you're ready when, when they come. So they're not waiting for you outside. And then finally, link at the bottom um, of this YouTube video is a little um, role play script that you can do with friends or family members just to practice um, participating in these phone calls before you might actually partake in one. Um, and then once you feel comfortable going through that role play, play um, go ahead and try, you know, with parent permission and um, ordering something on the phone by yourself. And I think after you do it a few times, you'll find that it's relatively simple. Um, and especially now, so this time when I'm filming this video, we're in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. And so a lot of people, instead of going to restaurants, are ordering food in. So you may have several opportunities to practice. Thanks for watching.